And hello again folks, it is I, Kamikaze. I'm here to bring you another quick tutorial on something that I have had a problem with in the past and several people have had the problem with it. It's long overdue because I should have done it a long time ago. Uh, you may have a problem of 100% CPU usage or close to it when you're trying to uh, live stream or record and so then you don't have enough to be able to play your game, blah 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 blah. And uh, the reason is pretty simple, but first of all, and I say first of all, if you have a laptop or a desktop and you only have integrated graphics such as, uh, you know, Intel HD 4000 or any of the sort, this will not help you. There is nothing saving you other than in short of buying a new computer or actually installing a good graphics card. Uh, if you have an AMD or an NVIDIA card, pretty much any recent one will have this. Uh, older ones, uh, you're going to have to Google that. Um, because if it doesn't show up in this list, then uh, you're going to definitely have to find out. This is assuming you have all the appropriate drivers installed. So, since I've already wasted a minute of your time, this is how you would fix that. Um, and also, realize that if you have an ancient processor, you may have issues there too. I couldn't really tell you what, because it depends on the build, blah, 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 blah. Okay, assuming you have a decent processor and you have an actual graphics card. Go to Settings. And as I said, this works with pretty much any kind of software. You go to the output, whatever you choose to do bit rates, encoding, and so forth. And right here under encoder, mine says NVENC, which, or N-V-E-N-C, I don't know how to pronounce it. But it says H264. That is a hardware encoder that's actually built into the graphics card itself. It takes the load of the processing to be able to, uh, well, encode the video. And it takes it away from the uh, actual processor itself. Because when you go through your processor, such as the Intel or AMD processor that you're using, you know, Threadripper probably wouldn't have an issue, but um, what it does is that's a software encoding, where this uses actual hardware to encode it right off the graphics card. It does not degrade the performance of your graphics card. I don't want anyone to think that. So as long as it says H.264, you're golden. And if it says anything else, just switch it to the H.264 that should be in the drop-down menu. If it's not in the drop-down menu, your graphics card may not have it. Uh, you'll have to do some research to find out if it's compatible, but you just need to change... Most of the time, people just need to change it to the H.264 on whatever they end up doing. The same thing goes with recording. You go down to encoder and you change it over. Um, that's really it. I am going to guarantee that a lot of people this will not fix their problem because uh, a lot of people do not have the hardware in order to uh, run this stuff. And for them, I am sorry, but for anyone else, I do hope this helps you, and I'll see you all in the next video.